Hello Aquarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Aquarius, this is your reading for the next three months and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. This is a love exclusive reading. In this reading, we'll see uh, what is your overall energy for the next three months. What are the love messages for you for the next three months? What do you need to know regarding your love life? <clears throat> What are the challenges and what are the opportunities that are coming towards you in your love life? Okay. Uh, I would also appreciate if you hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. See Aquarius, uh, I sort of upload like approximately 150 videos per month. Okay. Or at least like 130 plus videos per month you hitting like share and subscribe and commenting on my video it only kind of uh, inspires me and motivates me to do more to give more okay so make sure you go ahead and do that okay and share this video as much as possible all right so there is an extended reading for this one, Aquarius. Link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, and likely conclusion between you and this person. Coming back to this reading, I'm shuffling the cards. I'll lay them down and then we'll discuss the energies. Okay, let's get started now. Let's see what is your overall energy for the next three months. We have Queen of Cups. What do you need to know regarding your love life, High Priestess? Ace of Cups. Six of Wands. Interesting. What are the challenges in your love life for the next three months? Four of Pentacles. And opportunities in your love life, Eight of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Chariot. Okay. If I have to talk about the Zodiac signs, Aquarius, I see Cancer, I see Pisces. Uh, strong presence of water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I see Sagittarius. I see Virgo and Capricorn. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. You might see a lot of 2 to 2. You might see a lot of uh, 4 4 4 and probably even 11 11 in the next three months. Let's see what is your overall energy for the next three months, Aquarius. We have. Uh, Queen of Cups. Hmm. Queen of Cups, Aquarius. What do you need to know? This is an overall energy for the next three months. I feel that Your nurturing energy that you have within you will be at its peak in the next three months. Okay. You will really have a very strong urge, Aquarius, to be with someone and share the loving and caring and the nurturing energy that you have within you with the other person. Okay. Okay. You'll try to manifest someone romantically real bad. And not only that, I feel like you're going to come across as very loving and caring in the next three months. I mean, you'll be very nice to people, which otherwise also you are. But for the next three months, that energy will be very apparent. Okay, and it's not that you're doing something on purpose. It's not that you're doing on the uh, consciously. 
it's happening everything is happening subconsciously okay your actions are coming because of a certain subconscious state of mind that you have for the next three months so you will notice that you're big you're also becoming generous for the next three months you will you will do probably uh, some you will probably share something with the needy it can be anything it can be like sharing clothes or uh, uh, probably money you might donate something uh, to to the orphanages uh, or ngos or organizations engaged into some uh, uh, volunteering activities uh if someone is coming towards you for some help you will definitely not deny them help okay uh you will also get attracted towards kids a lot okay you will be like i want to have kids not only you will feel like you want to have kids but you will if, if you just see kids playing on the on the playground you will you will feel like i want to watch them play okay and then you will be like wow look at them they're they're so nice and they're so cute and and maybe this thought will start stemming inside you that even i want to have kids of my own and that urge might become pretty strong by the end of third month you will feel like i want to become a mom or a dad and i don't care if i find someone so some of you might even take certain steps especially females i feel like there are procedures where you freeze your eggs right you will be like i want to i want to preserve my eggs and i want to freeze them okay so this is something i can use as as a backup plan if say for example if i don't find someone in the near future right away okay you will in a way you will be like i'm i'm preserving my children by freezing your eggs at your subconscious mind you will be thinking like i'm preserving my children i don't want to lose them okay it's a part of me that will stay whenever i want to resurrect life in the in those eggs i can okay so i'll i'll sort of preserve them this might be applicable for few of you maybe but i'm getting a very very strong energy of like the nurturing energy that is there it will be at its peak okay uh you will also start manifesting a romantic partner because of this and it will happen from a very subconscious state of mind okay you might know consciously you might not know consciously but you will start manifesting romantic partner and not only you will start manifesting romantic partner you will also notice that you are attracting lot of people towards you you will be like out of the blues you will get text messages from someone like hey how are you i think so i want to catch up with you can we meet that's what i'm getting with queen of cups you are sending out some kind of an energy because of which people who are in need of that energy are getting attracted towards you and not only people who are in need of that energy somehow that is that is creating a magnetic attraction you will notice lot many people showing interest in you in the next 3 months let's talk more about your love life we have high priestess ace of cups and six of wands high priestess is telling me uh, let's talk about ace of cups first so ace of cups is clearly telling me that a new love opportunity is coming towards you aquarius an opportunity sent by the universe very likely in the next 3 months you're going to meet someone special okay and 
I would suggest, given the fact that we have High Priestess next to Ace of Cups, I would suggest that start doing some meditation Aquarius. Okay? Because when this person is going to pop up in your life, not only you're going to feel a connection with this person, but your feelings for this person will get validated if you're also getting some intuitive downloads. And I mean, you will get intuitive downloads provided you notice them. Okay? Provided you, you feel them. And that's why I'm saying start doing meditation. Because meditation will help you in understanding the hunches that you're feeling from within. In understanding your inner voice. In understanding the intuitive downloads that you're getting. Because with High Priestess, I clearly feel, Aquarius, that before meeting, before this opportunity is going to pop up in your life, maybe you're going to have certain dreams. Maybe there are some intuitive downloads that you're going to feel. There is an inner voice that will keep on talking to you. There is some sort of a guidance that is coming towards you. There is something that is going to happen. I just saw 11-11 by the way. So your entity downloads your inner voice will act as an evidence for you or it will sort of acknowledge the feelings that you are developing for this new developing in this new connection and that's why I meditate okay universe is trying to convey something to you beforehand before this opportunity pops up in your life universe will try to convey that to you like i'm sending this opportunity towards you aquarius you better get ready I think Aquarius, for some of you, this is going to be a person from a far off distance. And not only far off distance, likely they are going to be a person with different ethnicity, different cultural background. Okay. I mean, I feel like this person will have to travel a lot to meet you. We have got two cards indicating momentum. Okay. I mean, they will have to, I, I sort of feel like there is going to be a distance and uh, travel is involved over here for some of you this is going to be a long distance connection and i don't feel like you guys will hesitate in hopping onto a plane and meeting one another to spend time with one another either you're going to do that or your person is going to do that I also feel with the High Priestess, this is going to be a very secretive connection. Okay. You will make sure that both of you are guarding this connection. You guys are not letting anyone else know what is going on in your life. Okay. And I feel with the Ace of Cups, probably this is going to be once in a lifetime opportunity because there are so many positive cards indicating that this is something that you need to take up. Okay. For some of you Aquarius, I'll not deny. For some of you, I feel an ex is coming back and they will succeed because we have six of wands over here. This person might succeed in winning your heart again okay but this time around if you guys accept this connection from your ex things are looking better between you and this person this if a connection with your ex happens this person might even cry they might even cry like why did i why was i like this with you before okay I'm getting like both of you are going to hug one another for a very long time. Whether this is an ex or whether this is a new person. Like the intensity to meet one another. The intensity to be with one another is going to be so strong. 
Aquarius. Like the the distance will drive both of you crazy. That's what I'm getting. And whenever after, uh, like whenever you guys will decide to meet one another, that intensity to be with one another is going to be so strong. Like initially when you're going to meet one another, you're going to hug one another like 10-15 minutes at a stretch. Nobody will be willing to leave the other person. Like I want to hug you continuously. Let me hug you. I don't want to leave you. And say, for example, if this person is going back to their country, to their place, or you're going back to your country, to your place, you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna cry. You guys are gonna cry. That's what I'm getting. There is such a deep bond between both of you. There is so much of love over here. I think so. After a very long time, I'm getting Aquarius that you are gonna experience true love. Like you'll find yourself becoming shy or smiling even when you're alone. Thinking about this person, you're thinking about this person and then you're smiling and laughing all alone. Okay, you're not talking to anybody but you're thinking about this person and then there is a smile. And then other people are, they are going to catch you like, hey, why are you smiling? Whom are you? You're not talking to anybody. You're all alone and you're smiling. What are you thinking? So many people are going to catch you like that, okay, smiling and thinking about somebody and then they're going to ask you, whom are you thinking about? Share with us. I don't think so you're going to share with anybody, okay. There is a distance. This person is coming across as a, they are, they are very loyal, okay. They are very honest, very transparent. They hate lies. They are very loyal. And they, this person is coming across as very protective. They have a warrior kind of a spirit. Okay. They are like, come what may, I'm going to be with Aquarius. Despite any differences and odds and everything, I'm going to be with Aquarius. Nothing and no one has the power to stop me from being with Aquarius. Okay. This person will be willing to grow, go to great lengths to be with you. Wow, we have so many aces over here. We already have Ace of Cups. Then we also have the Chariot and Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords. I think the communication is going to play a very important role in this connection. Because it's a long distance connection, communication is going to play a very, very important role. Like I do feel like both of you will put in the efforts to make sure that there are no misunderstandings and there is a lot of uh, transparency in the entire connection. Okay? And... I also feel like both of you will be sort of possessive about one another a lot. I mean, there will be times when both of you are going to become jealous of, about certain things pretty quickly. If your person sees you with a person of opposite sex, this person is going to get jealous pretty quickly. If you see them, a person with a person of opposite sex, you're going to get jealous pretty quickly. There is this obsessive obsessiveness towards one another. Okay. But at the same time, so much of passion, so much of uh, love over here, okay? Both of you will recognize that this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and, like, efforts are needed towards it to make it a success. So that's why there is a lot of willingness to put in the, put in the efforts. I'm liking the spirits of this person. Like, they are, they are definitely willing to go to great lengths to make this connection a, uh, a success. It's like they're coming across as a dutiful uh, partner, okay? And very likely this is going to be a future spouse of yours. There are new beginnings, by the way, Aquarius. You better get ready. And it's I don't feel so. This is only... New beginnings are not only confined to your love life. I feel like new beginnings are there in other areas of your life as well. Let's see what are the challenges that you're going to face in your love life. We have four of pentacles. So challenges are telling me, Aquarius, that probably...
for some of you money might be uh, i mean you're very much focused towards establishing your career and i do feel like some of you might have changed your career some of you might have started a side hustle and you're like dedicated and devoted towards that and in the midst of nowhere this relationship is happening okay for some of you you also sort of invested a big chunk of money towards your business towards your career and maybe that's why you don't have enough of money or someone is not going to have enough of money to like you know to take care of the long distance needs like frequent traveling and spending money continuously over uh, frequent traveling so that might be a challenge somewhere i'm i'm feeling like money might be a challenge in this connection initially okay but if you are see one person might face a challenge the other person is financially abundant but the person who is facing the financial challenge will not open up about their financial struggles for long okay and uh, after some time you guys are going to open up to the other person or it's going to be vice versa and then the other person will take care of the financial needs and requirements and they will be like you don't worry you continue with your career you continue uh, working towards your career and i'll take care of the financial needs in this connection okay don't worry about that but initially i do feel like financial struggles are going to impact or might impact uh this connection for some time opportunities eight of swords somehow i'm getting a message of commitment over here i don't know why i mean opportunity to get into a committed situation like you are tying yourself up with another person okay you probably always wanted to get into a committed situation but you are not finding the right kind of a person okay and you, you are mentally attuned like that aquarius you you want you look for committed situations only in your life that's what i'm getting okay i don't think so casual situations uh, entertain you in any way okay or casual situations give you any kind of happiness maybe in the past you were always committed but the partners your exes were never committed but the opportunity that is coming towards you i feel like you and your person both of you will be extremely committed towards one another okay and i am feeling like the bug stops here your search will end at this person that's what i'm getting and the search is going on for a very long time that is also something i'm getting okay all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment on below link for the extended is in description box and comment section in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you and likely conclusion between you and this person all righty take care have a great time and bye bye